<coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm back. Uh, going all the way to Estes Park, Colorado and back up here is not easy. I'm wore out. Um, it's just a 16 hour round trip, 16, 17 hour round trip plus, plus or minus stops. But I'm back out here. Uh, got to thinking when I got here, I should have put in a, uh, a remote for that light and I'll probably put in another light out there in the outside of the garage while I'm here this trip. I'm gonna stay for a few days. Got some ideas on some stuff to do. Plus I brought some fence for the dogs. Hopefully I can get that up. I really want to bring start bringing the dogs down here. But uh, I'm back. Uh, I don't know. I think. I think I just really need to do something for lighting on the outside. You know, stack all this stuff up and pull the pull the uh, blinds out of the windows. Um, got some. Uh, Door knobs, get the screen doors installed, and brought some foam. I'm gonna try and put some spray foam between the two buildings because there is a little bit of a gap. I think I can get it in there, no problem. Can't keep my pants up, they keep falling off. Been losing weight, and uh, I don't quite fit into my 36s yet, but my 37s are too big. So, working on it. But it's just another pretty night out there. I don't think you can see the stars in the camera. Yeah, I know you can't. I need to get probably get a telephoto. I don't know what kind of lens to use for stars, but there's definitely stars out there. So, I'm going to start getting ready and uh, go on to bed. I think I'm going to watch um, uh, Walking Dead. Got to get ca caught up on Walking Dead before I go to bed. This is a great place to watch Walking Dead out in the middle of nowhere. Not enough, another, uh, um, another person for at least a mile. That just makes it all kinds of interesting. So here we go. Bye. Good morning, everybody. That's like the second time that I've done this because the first time I said something about a certain very large person who was radioactive and man-eating. And you can't do that because the camera just shuts off. Anyhow, I've been up for a few hours and uh, I'm going to try and put um, that square peg and this round hole. I don't know if it's going to fit. I don't know. I'm going to have to read instructions. And I'm hard on reading, you know, how these guys are, you know, instructions. Oh my gosh. No, please, no instructions. I've seen it done on YouTube. I know how to do it. Uh, that's what I'm going to try and do. Then later on, I might try and go for a ride. I need to take the bike to somewhere or wherever has a car, car wash and uh, get it cleaned up. That's really, really, really dirty. You have a 17 or 18,000 bike and it's dirty? Oh man, that's bad. I'm gonna get busy. I got stuff to do. Y'all have fun. I got it in. It uh, kinda works, sorta. Keeps the bugs out. I saw a fly trying to get it in a little while ago and he just couldn't do it no matter how hard he tried. I put in quick set uh, locks. So 
Oh, everything works. How about that? Ah, one more thing out of the way. One more giant part that I don't have to worry about anymore. Cool. I have to clean up my mess. That's always the fun part, isn't it? Yeah, I kind of goofed up and uh, left the battery on, left the lights on on my bike when I parked it out here. And the battery was 100% dead. It'll take it all night to charge where it'll start. I'm going to go for a walk. I made up for it though. I went for a ride in the car with all the windows down and the sunroof open. Yeah, that makes up for it, right? But that kind of reinforced my idea, all we have, all this current, all this energy we have out here, and that's all we have for a battery charger, yeah. So it kind of reinforced my thoughts on putting a emergency charge station right here. I could put the emergency charge station with jumper cables and stuff and get stuff going quick. I'm going to do that. Uh, been thinking about it, thought, eh, we don't really need it. Well, guess what? We do need it. So, I'm going to do that. And I just noticed I left my sunroof open over there, so I'm sure it's full of spiders. Oh, yay. I'm going to go fix that. Here's one of the cool things I found out here. It's an old uh, kettle. Cast iron kettle. No date or name on it that I can find. <coughs> it's cracked, unfortunately. There might be something on it right there. 13. Something. Hang on a second, my pants are falling off. Okay. Just a 13. That's all I see. I found this out here before we actually bought the property. It's been here a while, and there's other parts. There's a piece right there of what might have been a stove. There's a modern nail laying there. I kind of call this area in the GPS, I call it the dump. There's a lot of junk right here. Um, some wire, something over here, a paint can it looks like. But there's some cool stuff out here. Not far up the hill here, there's an old dam, there's something buried there. I think they're at one time. Could have been a sheep herder wagon or a house right up in here. But uh, I don't know. The batteries in my, um, whatever that thing is, metal detector, are pretty old. Got to be at least 10 years old. I don't get it out all that much. I should at least enjoy the heck out of it. Found a ton of stuff with that. Um, found a gold cross. Yeah, that was out where it was supposed to have been completely picked. But it was about an ounce of gold. And strangely enough, it disappeared. But what else have I found? all kinds of coins. I have never found a Indian head penny with it. The only thing I have not found is an Indian head penny. But quite a bit of other stuff. So I'm going to keep playing around. Pants are getting irritating because they won't stay up so I'm probably going to head back but I'll keep metal detecting on the way. Yeah, you see my house down there, about a quarter mile. Um, you just see the back side of it. I'm surprised we can see that. That's pretty well hidden. Um, 
back to work. Yeah, I just dug this up. It's a 1928 New Mexico license plate. Vintage. Clean one owner. I take that back to the house. Pretty cool. There's an old uh, oil can just found. This is out by the dam. There's, the dam right there. There's stuff in the dam, a lot of stuff. But I didn't bring a shovel, and there's tall grass in there and lots of vegetation. It looks like the cow's been bedding down in there. So I probably won't dig that up. I'll wait till Sue gets back here and let her head out with the metal detector. But I'm going to leave that for now. It'll be there later. It ain't going nowhere. It's even got the handle on it still. That's pretty cool. It's got a bullet hole in it though. That might be where they open it up to let air in to uh, dump the oil too. I don't know. So, back to work. Yeah, okay, I'm going to give up for the day. I'm going to go ahead and publish this video. Uh, I didn't get much done. I got the door done. This is cool, I think. I think that came out pretty well. Yay, open, close. Open, close. Now let's see them pesky man-eating, giant man-eating uh, radioactive ants. Let's see them get in now. So, now, tomorrow, uh, I really need to put the fence in around back for the dogs, but let's see how the wind is and what the temperature is. Uh, I want to get the dogs down here, but I need to do this door. I need to get it all framed and ready. And then um, I need to do the skirting down here on this end of the house. So if I get those two things done tomorrow, that would be good. Or at least started. Uh, I would like to try and get a solar panel up because I've got room for one more solar panel up on the roof. If I can get one more up, I think we'll be in even better shape than we are as far as power goes. But... Uh, we, I don't think we're ever going to have to worry about power. I checked the battery water yesterday and it's not even bubbling. Um, walking around in here where all this metal is in my socks. Yay, that's going to be fun. 12.9 volts. Just about everywhere. We're not charging at anything. We're using 8.9 or 8.8 .8 on the 110 and 3.27 on the 12 volt. And I got a lot of stuff running right now, so that explains that. So, thinking I need to put a fuse in on this line. That's uh, the 12 volt going to the batteries. I have lots of those uh, big fuse things. It's not going to go over about 40 amps, probably ever. I've been keeping an eye on it. I haven't seen it get very high. So, I'm going to put in a light over there on the outside and a light over there on the outside. And this light, I'm going to move to that corner and put one over here inside. So we'll have two lights over there outside, or one inside, one outside over there, and one inside, one outside over here. That's something else that I could get done. I just really didn't want to do anything today. This wall is going to have two 12 volt um, plugs down here and one 12 volt plug down there and one 12 volt plug over here. Uh, I'm glad I looked at the washer because I need to wash clothes tonight. I don't have any clean clothes. All right. Well, it's time to get ready. I'm going to go ahead and publish this one. Went out, uh, shot my 223 for a little while, and just did some fun stuff today. Went took the metal detector out. That's a White's. That's an old one. I've had it for a long, long time. MXT 
metal detector. It works pretty good. It's been enough for it. It's been a long time. I think I bought that in around 2000. I, yeah, roughly 2000. So I've had it for 18 years, probably. All right. Y'all have fun.